astronomers have discovered a new class of exoplanets that are substantially different from our own, but could host life, potentially speeding up the search for life outside our solar system. They have generally looked for planets of similar size, mass, temperature, and atmospheric composition to Earth in their search for extraterrestrial life. On the other hand, astronomers from the University of Cambridge believe there are more potential possibilities out there. The researchers discovered a new class of habitable planets called Hyshan worlds, hot ocean-covered planets with hydrogen-rich atmospheres. They are more abundant and detectable than Earth-like planets. According to the researchers, the findings published in the Astrophysical Journal could suggest that finding biosignatures of life outside our solar system within the next few years is a definite possibility. A biosignature is any characteristic, element, molecule, substance, or feature that can be used as evidence for past or present life. Haitian planets open up a whole new route in our quest for life elsewhere, said the study's lead author, Dr. Niku Madhusudan of Cambridge's Institute of Astronomy. Many of the Haitian candidates identified by researchers are larger and hotter than Earth. However, they still have the traits to host huge oceans capable of supporting microbial life, equivalent to that observed in Earth's most harsh aquatic settings. In comparison to Earth-like planets, these worlds have a much larger habitable zone, or Goldilocks zone. This means that even if they are outside the range where a planet like Earth would need to be to be habitable, they may still host life as we know it. Since the first exoplanet was discovered over 30 years ago, thousands of planets outside our solar system have been discovered. The vast majority are super-Earths, or mini-Neptune's planets, between the sizes of Earth and Neptune, and they are mostly rocky or ice giants with hydrogen-rich atmospheres, or something in between. The majority of mini-Neptunes are more than 1.6 times the size of Earth, making them smaller than Neptune, but too large to have rocky interiors like Earth. Previous research on such planets indicates that the pressure and temperature beneath their hydrogen-rich atmospheres would be too high for life to survive. However, a recent study on the mini-Neptune K218b, conducted by Madhutsudan's team, discovered that these planets could support life under certain conditions. The findings prompted thorough research into the whole range of planetary and stellar features that could satisfy these conditions, as well as whether known exoplanets might satisfy those conditions, and whether their biosignatures could be detected. Haitian planets have vast planet-wide oceans beneath hydrogen-rich atmospheres. They can be up to 2.6 times the size of Earth and have temperatures approaching 200 degrees Celsius in their atmospheres but their oceanic conditions could be similar to those that support microbial life in Earth's seas. Examples of such planets include tidally locked dark Haitian worlds that may only have habitable conditions on their permanent night sides, as well as cold Haitian worlds that get little radiation from their stars. Planets of this size make up the majority of known exoplanets albeit they haven't been explored as thoroughly as super-Earths. Because Haitian worlds are expected to be common, the best sites to look for life elsewhere in the galaxy may have been right under our noses. However, size alone is not enough to determine if a planet is Haitian. Other factors, such as mass, temperature, and atmospheric parameters must be considered. When determining the conditions of a planet many light years away, astronomers must first determine whether a planet is in the habitable zone of its star before looking for chemical signals to infer the planet's atmospheric and interior structure, which dictate the planet's surface conditions, presence of oceans, and potential for life. Astronomers are also on the lookout for biosignatures that could suggest the presence of life. The most common are oxygen, ozone, methane, and nitrous oxide, all of which are found on Earth. 
other biomarkers, such as methyl chloride and dimethyl sulfide, are less plentiful on Earth, but can serve as promising signs of life on worlds with hydrogen-rich atmospheres, where oxygen and ozone are scarce. Madhusudan and his colleagues discovered that spectroscopic measurements could detect several trace terrestrial biomarkers likely to be present in Haitian atmospheres in the near future. Haitian planets' atmospheric signatures are far more detectable than Earth-like planets due to their greater diameters, higher temperatures, and hydrogen-rich atmospheres. The Cambridge team discovered a large number of probable Haitian worlds that are ideal candidates for deeper investigation, with next-generation telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which is set to launch later this year. All these planets orbit red dwarf stars that are between 35 and 150 light-years distant, which is quite close according to astronomical standards. The most promising candidate, K218b, is expected to be observed by JWST, which could detect one or more biosignature molecules. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos.